Now that we have learned the helm station, it is time for us to learn the navigation station. Move your mouse and click on the blue icon that's in the very middle part of the screen. Just like before, you'll see that some buttons appear. Click the one that says Access Terminal. This will now enter, ask us to enter our full name. Pause your tape until you have done so. When you're ready, hit OK or Enter. Again, some more buttons have appeared, but we won't need to push these. We're going to move up to our menu, which is at the very top right. The very first screen that we're going to learn about is called Course Calculation. Now before our ship can actually move, we have to set a course. Take a look around you. You notice that there aren't any windows on our ship. This is for safety concerns. Because of that, we don't actually know where we're flying, so our main computer sets a course for us. To do this, we must first enter a target destination. For example, I'm going to type in Mars. You can type in whatever you want on your screen, as long as it's a real location. After you're done, hit Calculate Course. Now this process can take a while. The computer is now searching for a suitable course to Mars. This will take into account any navigational hazards that our ship will have to fly around. It looks like the computer has now figured out a way for us to safely get to Mars. To do that, we must enter our X, Y, and Z location. This X, Y, and Z location can change depending on the position of our ship. So if you searched Mars and got different numbers, don't worry. Go ahead and take your mouse and move it over to this keypad over here. We're first going to enter this very first number. 4532.777. After we're done, we'll hit the arrow key or the enter key right here. It's important to note that you cannot use your computer keyboard. You have to use the mouse for the screen. Go ahead and pause your tape until you've typed in all the coordinates. After we've entered the X, Y, and Z coordinates, we need to hit enter one more time. After you hit enter, you'll see that the X, Y, and Z coordinates now move up here to the current course. If this screen doesn't make sense to you, please raise your hand and ask a staff member. Otherwise, that's all the training that is required for this screen. Just a quick overview, we enter our target destination, the computer compiles a safe way for us to get to that destination and provides our X, Y, and Z coordinates. We then have to enter those X, Y, and Z coordinates over here in the new X, uh, Y, and Z coordinate boxes. We have to use the on-screen keyboard. Enter the numbers, and then hit the OK button. If you ever wanted to change these, you could hit Clear, or the C button above the arrow, and all the numbers will uh, disappear. After we're done entering a new course, we just need to hit Enter one more time, and the numbers move up to the top. That means our ship is now on course, and we can activate our engines as we learned on the helm screen. You always have to set a course before you can activate your engines, or we're flying blindly and can hit some obstacles in space. That's all for this screen. Go ahead and take your mouse up to the very top menu and click Subspace Field. As our ship starts to move very quickly, sometimes it will become unstable. To do this, we can activate our Subspace Field, which helps to balance out the ship. The very first step is to hit Activate Subspace Field. When we do this, we'll see that our ship starts to change colors. The very first thing that we need to do is fix all the modulations. Hold down this minus key up here, and you'll see that that inner arrow is slowly moving. Now this process can take a long time, so we're not going to go to each individual modulation to fix it. But after you line them up, you'll see that it turns green just like this one. After the modulation turns green, that means it's been set. You will have to do this for the uh, forward, aft, starboard, port, dorsal, and ventral modulation. After you get all the modulations set, our subspace field is set. Now occasionally, another officer may ask you to adjust the frequency. You just do this by holding down the minus key across from this frequency right here, and you see that our frequency starts to drop. That is all for this screen. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and ask a staff member. Otherwise, go ahead and move over to the computer that's on your right that's called Internal Operations.